Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with, I guess, the biggest advertisements, AVRLR32 here, Yu-Gi-Oh! organization, y'all gotta fix your ads, but thank y'all for watching this video, be sure to destroy the other living boo-boo, staying off of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher, the 1200 ladder, I only read the first card in this new Gate Guardian support, and I just knew I had to record this, ladies and gentlemen, so learn the darkest secrets of the labyrinth with Dark Guardian. Now, as you can clearly see by the thumbnail, this was support for Gate Guardian that we actually saw in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime. So if you watch the anime, then you may be familiar with some of these cards. I actually don't remember any of these cards, and I think they actually added on to it. This here is Dark Guardian, level 12, Dark Warrior Special Summon Effect Monster, 3,800 attack and defense. Again, I apologize for all the ads. This is YGL organization's fault, so I do apologize. Um, this card is always treated as a Gate Guardian card. Cannot be normal summoner set, must be special summon with dark element, or from your hand or grave by shuffling one Sangha, the Thunder, Kaizijin, and Suijin into the deck from among your face-up cards on the field, in your hand, or grave, and or face-up banished cards. <laughs> this card is always live. Doesn't matter if you've got one piece in the grave, one in the hand, one banished. This is what all of the fusion pieces of Gate Guardian should have been. But now they put it into this monster. And I can applaud them for that. So it can't be destroyed by battle. And this card, Special Summon with Dark Element, is unaffected by other monsters' effects and your opponent's activated spell effects. Not sure why it's not traps, but whatever. I guess Labyrinth has an easy out to it then, just generically. <laughs> so I haven't read any of the other cards. So now we're going to see, I guess, what Dark Element is. So this here is Dark Element, normal spell. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If you have a Gate Guardian monster in your graveyard, pay half your life points, Jesus Christ, special summon one level 11 or higher Gate Guardian monster from your hand deck or extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add one of your Sang of the Thunder, Kazajin, or Suijin that is banished or in your deck to your hand. These two cards are bananas for Gate Guardian, ladies and gentlemen. Because something that Gate Guardian hasn't had up until this point, I'm sorry if you just heard a bump, I just hit my mic because I'm trying to move all these damn ads out of here. Something that Gate Guardian was lacking was a main deck boss monster technically, but also like just good support to make them more consistent. Like basically what Gate Guardian is right now is you want to land Gate Guardian combined and as well, preferably Gate Guardian of Wind and Water up so that you can have two spell or trap negations and then have like a TC boost set. That's like your main end goal. So with the main deck monster, Dark Guardian, it's always treated as a Gate Guardian card. So it's searchable by like all of the Gate Guardian support cards. Being able to have Sang of the Thunder, Kazajin and Suijin Anywhere that's not in your deck makes this really easy to summon. You summon it off of this, it gets more protection. If you have a Gate Guardian monster in your grave, which is not hard because like you could easily get a fusion into the grave, pay half your life points, especially on a level 11 or higher Gate Guardian monster, hand deck or extra deck. So it gives you access to the fusions and also gives you to Dark Guardian access. Um, you can banish it from your grave, add one of your Sang of the Thunder Kazajin or Suijin that's banished or in your deck to your hand. I don't think we have a card that actually adds all three to hand. That would actually be really nice. Hopefully there's some more support down the line besides just these two cards in Phantom Nightmare. But I gotta give it to Konami. I mean, I really do. Like Age of Overlord, I was already getting a case of. Like that set's gonna be really good. And I think Phantom Nightmare, especially with... Even just the U-Bell stuff, I was already going to want to get a case of this set. Plus, there's also Horus support in this set. Yeah, like, th this this new support's really good for Gate Guardian. Now, does that mean that, like, Gate Guardian's going to suddenly be a Tier 1 deck? No. These two cards do not do enough. There is still not a single card in the Gate Guardian archetype that searches all three pieces, like, from anywhere to the hand. And I think at the end of the day, we would still need retrains of Sangha, Kazijin, and Suijin. Because on their own, let's be honest, they really don't do anything other than make a monster's attack zero. And I just don't think that's enough in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! But to have Dark Guardian from the anime, and then also what I'm assuming is a new card, Dark Element. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for Phantom Nightmare now more than ever. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below with this quick video. Don't worry, we're going to be posting another video tomorrow. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.